I've owned my Tesla longer than 18 months now, and I've driven it over 10,000 miles. And when I charge it at home, I always use the standard 110 connector that came with the car. And it's been fine for me now because I haven't been commuting. But now that I'm going to be going back to work a couple days a week, I need to do some math and figure out, can I keep doing it with just the 110 or do I need to upgrade to level two charging? I'm going to answer that question coming up. To illustrate this point, I created this grid that has seven days down the left side and it has 24 hours across the top. And every one of these boxes represents one hour in your week. And let's just say when they're green, your car is available in the garage or wherever, and it's available for home charging. Okay. Now, when you commute and you have to go somewhere, I'll use the notation that the red is when you're driving and the orange is actually when you're, um, when your car is sitting in the parking lot at your at your place of work and let's say the first scenario is going to be a 35 mile commute let's say you have a nine to five job so you're there for eight hours and you commute an hour each way so let's put that into my charging calculator now what this is you're just going to go to handydad.tv slash evcalc and that is going to bring up this charging calculator. This makes it really easy for you. And it's going to start by saying, okay, uh, you got to tell me about your weekly commute. And you can do this for miles or kilometers. Um, I'm just leaving it default as miles. So the full range of my car, my Tesla Model Y, for argument's sake, I usually just put in 300 miles. And then this would be the maximum daily charge that I would have it set to charge to. Now, Tesla recommends nothing more than 90 on a daily basis. Your manufacturer could vary. I like to put it to 80. Now you can see it calculated 240 miles is my theoretical range of my car charged to 80%. All right, I'm going to click next. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, all right, how many hours am I spending away from home? Now, remember this first scenario, it's a nine to five job. So I have eight hours at work and an hour each way I commute. So I'm going to put in 10. And my one way commute, I said, well, let's say it's 35 miles each way. How many days per week do I go into the office? Well, in this case, I'm going to go in three days. And now how many miles per hour does my home charger add to my range? So I know that with the default charger that comes with my Tesla, I get three miles per hour range. And I'm just going to select next. All right, now here are the results based on my input. It says, great news. My weekly commute is 210 miles, and it requires me to charge for 70 hours. Because remember, it's only three miles per hour is my charging. Now, during the week... I have 90 hours available to charge. So 70 is less than 90. I can fully charge my car during the week as I drive it. And that basically means the weekends are free. I can drive on the weekends and I can charge it whatever's necessary. I'm not even counting weekends. I'm really just looking at the weekly usage. All right. So it's basically saying in the five days of the week, I can charge sufficiently for this commute. All right, now let's look at another scenario and say, well, what happens if, uh, well, let's say your boss only lets you telecommute on Fridays, and so you have to go in four days a week. Well, come back to the calculator. I'm just going to click back here, go back to the previous page, and I can just modify it. So in this case, I'm going to do the same 35-mile commute. I'm just going to do it four days per week. Click Next. And this doesn't say great news, but it says good news, okay? So now my weekly commute is 280 miles, and it's going to take 93 hours to charge. And uh, I have 80 hours during the week to charge, and 48 hours on the weekends, depending upon how much I drive it, of course. But I can charge the car for 80 hours during the week, whenever it's home, and 13 more on the weekends. Now that means I can fully charge my car at home every week, with just the standard 110 charger that comes with the car, okay, based on three miles per hour and this commute, what I entered here. Now, the next scenario is, let's say I'm going to be like a nurse. A nurse has, um, let's just say, three 12-hour shifts, 
and let's say it's uh, so it's 12 hour day, still a commute, an hour commuting each way. And I'm going to do it. Let's say it's a 50 mile commute. Let's see what happens now. So let's go back. We're going to change this to a 50 mile commute. I'm now going to have a 12 hour day plus two. That's 14. And I'm going to do it just three days a week. Same charging rate. Now this still has good news, okay? 300 miles requires 100 hours for charging. This basically says that I can charge it whenever it's home during the week, and it'll still need 22 hours on the weekends, okay? So if I'm gonna drive the car on the weekends, that might be a problem, but I could always stop at a supercharger or something like that if I need to. But generally, on average, I could charge this no problem with my uh, home charger. All right, one more scenario. Let's see if it's a 50 mile commute, nine to five job, but I have to go in five days a week. Let's take a look and see what that looks like. So I'm back here to 10 hours a day because it's nine to five. It's a 50 mile commute and I'm gonna do it five days a week. Let's take a look. Now this says bad news. My weekly commute is 500 miles, requires 167 hours to charge. I only have 70 hours available during the week and 48 hours on the weekends. That means my current home charger doesn't charge fast enough to cover my weekly commute. I'll need to either upgrade my home charging or add 147 miles of range by charging at work or somewhere else. So I could stop at a supercharger or something like that. But the bottom line is I don't have enough home charging to cover my commute. Now, how do I know these things? Well. When you buy the Tesla, it comes with this mobile connector. It comes with this. And that is a standard 110 outlet, all right? It can plug into your regular outlet. But what you can do is you can get various different connectors here that go into it. And, and it supports different voltages. So if I look over here, this is called the NEMA adapter bundle. Now, if you really wanted to, for $245, you can get one of every type of connector that they have. And then no matter where you go, you've always got the connector for it. What I looked at is at each one of these, you can see it says using various different connectors, right? For my Model Y, it tells me what the different... Uh, different charging speeds are. So by default, I get three miles per hour. But if I upgrade to like, let's say this 1450 connector, which is a 50 amp, 240 volts, it says I can get 29 miles per hour. So let's go back to this scenario and say, well, if I upgrade my home charging to 29 miles per hour, let's take a look here. Now it says great news. My weekly commute of 500 miles requires only 17 hours of charging. That's because it's such a fast charger. And now I've got plenty of time available during the week so I can fully charge my car as I drive it. The obvious question you may be asking yourself is before I upgrade my charging equipment, does it cost more for me to charge faster? And the answer is no. Residential electricity is billed by kilowatt hour, and kilowatt hours are the same whether they are 110 volts or 240 volts. 240 just means you're delivering them even faster, but your rate is the same, and my rate happens to be 11 cents here in New Jersey per kilowatt hour. Uh, yours may vary, but the answer is no. So even though technically I can keep on charging my car with 110 and do my commute a couple days a week, I'm still gonna upgrade my capabilities to level two charging. I'm gonna do that by installing a NEMA 1450 outlet in the next video. So thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you in the next one. Hey there, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be the first to know when new videos are posted. Look for Handy Dad TV on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and visit the website handydad.tv for more great ideas and information.